to a, uh, a beat down of proportions that uh, I've not seen uh, as a member of Congress in the last uh, 18 years. And you didn't even have a chance to uh, defend yourself. You were beaten down like a pinata. And um, so I feel kind of badly about that. And it seems like you were beat down because of your representation of the Steel Manufacturers Association, which uh, in your testimony, you talked about the two ways of uh, production of steel, one being a uh, traditional blast furnace, basic oxygen furnace production method, which is centuries old, uh, extractive, coal-based, high emissions, um, that's the old way of making steel, and the uh, Steel Manufacturers Association produces steel via a cleaner method. And uh, I suppose it was uh, the extraction that you advocate against in your testimony with the uh, admonition that we should only have one standard, one emission standard, as opposed to two emission standards. The one that you favor is the one that is cleaner, and better for our environment. Uh, would you like to uh, explain a little bit about uh, why that method is best uh, as we move forward um, in funding um, uh, initiatives uh, to move our country away from uh, uh, dirty energy? and into a more uh, cleaner uh, situation? Sure, thank you, Congressman Johnson. Uh, the EAF approach to steel making embraces the circular economy. What does that mean? That we use recycled steel to make new steel. That means we also use electricity from an energy grid that gets greener and greener every year. And as a result of that, we have a lower emissions profile than steel made the traditional route. But for the purpose of this hearing, what is important to note that when it comes to Federal Highway Administration and General Service Administration infrastructure uh, projects, the integrated blast furnace producers do not make the products you need for Federal Highway and GSA product, pro projects. They don't make them. EAFs make 99% of those products that well, you I'm, use. I'm, well, yeah. I'm going to interrupt you here, yeah. and again, I apologize that you had to suffer such a, a beatdown, uh, but I hope you feel better about being able to explain a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, why you are here and why you're advocating for your position. Right. And I appreciate that opportunity. And, and um, by the way, Mr. Stauber is a huge advocate uh, for the steel industry. And quite frankly, uh, both integrated producers and EAF producers are the ones that are leading the way globally in cleaner steel production. But again, for the purpose of this hearing, federal highway infrastructure projects, the products that are needed to do those are not made by integrated producers. So the reason we need a single standard okay, is because so it's gotta, easy to follow. Okay, all right. I, I may disagree with you on the single standard concept. But yes. Maybe one of my fellow uh, colleagues will uh, allow you to talk more Certainly. about that. I want to get to Ms. Osborne. Ms. Osborne, considering the alarming statistic of approximately 42,795 road fatalities in the U.S. in 2022, with 12,151 of those attributed to speeding, the Department of Transportation has highlighted the crucial need for safer speeds in its national roadway safety strategy. Could you elaborate on how technologies like automatic emergency braking systems can contribute to promoting safer driving speeds and reducing speed-related fatalities? I appreciate your question and, and do want to point out that some of the things we don't even look at is that even going the speed limit is often an unsafe speed and we don't determine which crashes are caused by speed that actually meet or are under the speed limit. 
even though that's part of the danger as well. Um, we certainly need to look at ways to get people to comply with speed limits that are all often set higher than they should be, but we should be also looking to make it more natural for people to behave the way we want them to by better roadway design that just leads to drivers going the safer speed. Thank you. With that, I yield back. The gentleman yields Ms. Malloy. Uh, 